Everyone's heard of Facebook and Twitter, but have you heard of Twitter? As the social media industry continues to grow, there seems to be a need for users to communicate in their own language. Last year, the world's first Afrikaans social media network, Twitter, was launched. And today, we speak with the founder of the network. Yeah, he's, he's with us. He's with uh, Anin Domel in studio today. That's right, Evan. We've got Franz Rulos here to talk to us about Twitter. Franz, thank you very much for joining Morning, us. Morning, thanks very much. If we can just start with, like we've said, we've heard about Twitter. We know about all the other social networks out there. What exactly is Twitter and what is the need for it? Well, four years ago we started doing research um, because I realized there's no social media network in South Africa. And we then decided to start with Twitter because the name denotes something original and genuine. And um, one of the big problems in the big networks are that people cannot actually understand 80% of the, of the content. So uh, with an Afrikaans medium, it would be 80% relevant to 80% of the people. And that was, of course, just our starting point. It was started as a web-based social media platform, and now it's also an app-based social media platform. If you go to Google Play or to Android, um, for Android or this week, to the Apple Store, you could download your app and you can start tooting in Afrikaans. Mm. You say you realized there wasn't an app like this. If, in terms of looking at Mixit then, um, do people still use Mixit and looking then at Tutor, do the, it has some of the same functions? Well, Tutor is a, a really a next generation social media uh, network. It's actually a mobile media network. So currently on f uh, Tutor you can do social media. So that is sharing things with people by text, by video, by um, photographs. Very soon you'll be able to do one-on-one -on -one private messaging. And then just shortly after that, uh, mobile TV, the first mobile TV in South Africa. So it combines those three main streams that people use on media. And it offers a lot more than Facebook, uh, than, than Mixit, which is actually... Um, a previous generation kind of social media network. Yes, and then you said like for people to understand, you know, most of the settings will be in Afrikaans and so on. Um, determining then on the content that people will actually put out there, does that have to be in Afrikaans? No, you can use any language you want to as long as you can stand, understand the, the instructions. That's for now because later this year we will launch Tutor in South Africa and it will be English and you can seamlessly travel through between English, Afrikaans, or whatever language um, you want to use. Okay, and I think we actually have the page to sign in right yes. here. So what do you do? Where do you go firstly to find this? All you do is you type in tutor.com or you go and download the app and the app will prompt you. And uh, there is a tutorial also if you go to the website. On the left top, you, you choose a name. So it's at Deline or whatever the name is. Then if you have a uh, um, mail, you put in your email address and then you choose your own password and you click and on, off you go. And I know there are also plans to extend this to other African languages. Just tell us more about that. Yes, uh, well, as I said, we will have it in English. So it's really an ecosystem because mobile media flows like an ecosystem. It's now wider, then narrower, then deeper, then shallower. But on top of that, you have all these functionalities. So in South Africa, if you want to, um, to use another language, you could do that, but that is your choice. Um, we also have already um, negotiations with other African countries where we will sell licenses in those countries and we will help them to have local content and the local content can either be in one or more of the local languages or it can be in English but the platform for it to be almost like an international um, uh, um, road that you could travel on would be in English your road signs mm -hmm. but you can customize it that's the beauty of it in any language you want to are there any plans, if this is possible, to partner up with, with Twitter and other big social media sites that we well, see now? Well, I think that um, our, our, our network is really a next generation. So as I said to you, it includes the um, social, the private, Twitter TV, but also uh, mobile commerce. You know, in 2020, they say that 75% of all transactions online will come from mobile. So the world rapidly, since we started four years ago, has moved uh, across the internet to mobile internet because only 10% of the world has computers, 74% has uh, mobiles and in Africa in the next five years there will be another 500 million smartphones. Now that's a pretty big market and probably the biggest business opportunity you can think of. So our network is actually geared to do all those things and become a platform, a marketplace where you can do e-commerce, 
So it networks and integrates, and you can share things, as you know, with all these different networks. But I think for now, we will be pretty much proudly South African. Well, let's hope we see Tutor on all those uh, mobiles in the future, France. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Evan, you better start tooting. Yes. <laughs>